Okay guys, I'm back. I just wanted to test that out real quick, but if you're here, say hello once you pop in. We are gonna have a little skincare chat tonight and I wanna share with you some things that I've personally been using and things that I've been suggesting to others to use for different things. Also, kinda go over some awesome uh, things that are gonna be happening in May. So, I can't believe we're at the end of April already. It's kinda crazy. It's kinda crazy. But I'm gonna tag everybody in this real quick and then if you pop in, say hello and invite somebody to come watch this with you. Share it to your page, please. Anything helps. And I know I've talked to a few of you separately on the subject, so you can just chime in if you want to or ask any questions at any time. But I want to go over a few things with you guys. And it's been a minute. I've been kind of stepping back and doing some things for myself um, during this time. And me and Josh have been kind of taking it easy and enjoying the time that we have at the house. And we're working on some home projects and things like that. So, hey, Jessica, thanks for popping in. So we're going to talk about skincare tonight, which is why I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, one of the reasons, but I actually just went for my walk and my workout a little bit ago and had some dinner. So I wanted to get on here and talk to you about some skincare. And uh, if you guys have questions, please feel free to comment and I will do a little Q&A at the end or answer them as, uh, as I go if um, it fits well. So a um, couple things. So I've been using a couple different items from different skincare lines. I started out with the Calendula line, which is a flower. Um, there are a lot of products out there that actually use Calendula. Um, and it's very nourishing and very uh, feel good to the skin. So I'm going to show you a few of the things that I've been using in my daily routine. And my skin is super finally soft and smooth. I wish you guys could feel it right now. Um, and my skin tends to be a little bit more dry than oily. There are a couple spots that do get oily, like in my T-zone and on my chin. Um, and then of course, during monthly female time, it does have some breakouts still. I am, I, I know I'm not the only one that deals with that. So there are a couple different things that I would suggest using if you have those issues, but the main line that I personally use is the calendula line, which is for mixed skin or for dry skin. So there are um, different things in each line for different, you know, uh, things that you're dealing with. But the very first thing I love is the face wash. And this is for sensitive and dry skin. So I use this when I feel my skin kind of getting... A little bit grady and um, you know really dry in certain areas patchy I haven't had that since I've been using this on a weekly basis um, now the face wash you could use every day I use probably every other day so um, this is gonna last you a while it's a seven and a half fluid ounce bottle and you only need like a dime size to wash your face with so that's the first Thing in the calendula line that I use uh, on a daily basis and then um, I also got the face cream so there's a face cream and a hand cream face creams are amazing so there's always gonna be if you use body cream at all don't use it on your face because your face uh, skin is thinner than the rest of your body and it can break out a lot easier which is why most people get acne uh, in certain areas on their face so if you are using any moisturizer that is for body, don't use it on your face. It will break you out or clog your pores up. So this is the face cream that I use. It's super light. I'm gonna actually do a little uh, demonstration right now. So it's really light and thin. Um, it feels really nice on the skin. I don't know if you guys have ever used um, Olay products. My grandmother has used Olay products for years and it, the Olay cream actually has calendula in it but that's why it smells so good. Um, you can do it all over the face or just on your dry spots and it doesn't make it oily it just makes it nice and smooth. Now I will tell you that everyone's skin is different and everyone's skin will react differently 
treats to certain items. Now, I will say that it took about a week or two for my skin to adjust to a new skincare line. So if you are noticing that you're getting a little bit too oily or too dry, or you do have a couple little breakouts here and there, keep an eye on it. Don't totally dismiss it at first because it takes about two weeks for your skin to adjust to a new skincare line. Um, also, you shed your skin every 28 days. So you have fresh new skin every 28 days. So when you think about that and you're kind of changing up a routine in the middle of that, it kind of puts it off balance for a little bit. But then once you start using it regularly, it will end up balancing itself out. So don't get scared if you start something and it's not quite what you thought it would be at first. Um, and I had to talk myself through that too. So those are the three main items that I use on a daily basis. This next uh, calendula item is one of my favorites and I've used it multiple times. So this is our calendula cream balsam. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's probably backwards for you, but this is the balsam and it's kind of like, comes in this little tub and it's, amazing for dry skin on the body for anywhere on the body um, I have really dry sensitive skin on my legs and I also have eczema and I haven't had a, an eczema breakout in a couple years because I've changed um, my diet and I drink enough water and I've been doing some other things to kind of hinder that um, to offset that balance but this is a topical um, balsam cream and it is for sensitive and dry skin but I've seen people with eczema patches use it and it's healed up quite nicely so if you have eczema on your hands on your feet if you have really tough um, you know skin on your feet or on your hands this is great for that um, you know I've used it on my legs I've used it uh, around my knees around my elbows really good stuff so um, by the way all of the products that I show you are gluten-free mostly um, and they are vegan and they are plant based so everything on in our skincare line and our makeup line is plant-based vegan and um, almost a hundred percent of the items there's a, like two or three items that are not gluten-free but for the most part they are gluten-free as well so if you have an allergy to that you know just ask me I'll send you the ingredients and um, the list of what's in it and you can look it over all right so that's the first thing that i use on a daily basis we also have oils which i shared a post earlier about that um, there's an oil in every single skincare line that we have so calendula actually has one too if you like serums and oils um, obviously don't use those every day because they will clog you up a little bit um, and you know it will give you nice clear soft smooth skin as well um but oils you got to be careful with so um you know if you have acne or you're prone to acne obviously take um precaution in using any oils um but if you have mixed skin it's a good thing to use you know a couple times a week to kind of even everything out all right so the next um let's see the next line i'm going to talk about is our aloe scrub and i'm going to talk about that for a minute because there are a couple different things you can do as far as aloe goes aloe is great for everything literally um topically ingesting it um anything of the sort with aloe with the aloe plant is amazing um most people use out topical aloe for sunburn or with irritated skin um that needs to heal so you know bug bites sunburn that kind of thing that's usually what people use topical aloe for uh right now i've been using the aloe line to make hand sanitizer and i've also used one other specific ingredient from our tea tree oil line to add to this hand sanitizer so what i've been using is the aloe gel from our aloe line and this has 93 percent aloe in it and the rest of it is grapeseed oil which are both very good topically for many things so it's very clear it's straight from the aloe plant and i have used this on my face as well and this uh, i had sunburn from last week when we went fishing and this cleared it right up. I didn't peel, it was amazing. So um, you can use this and the tea tree oil uh, 
line from our both of our product lines and you can add alcohol to make hand sanitizer. So basically what the tea tree oil does is it helps your skin um, stay smooth as well as protect it from getting too oily or um, too dry. This also helps with acne. So you could use it on your face. I'll show you what it looks like. It's natural tea tree oil. You could also put this in your diffuser if you have a, an essential oil diffuser. So tea tree can be used for a lot of different things as well. Comes in a regular size bottle. This one is 10 milliliters or 0.33 fluid ounces. So all you gotta do is take some of your aloe gel and this one's clear. I've been using um, the other topical kind for the sanitizer, but this is uh, the clear aloe gel. And then all you have to do is put a couple drops of tea tree oil in it and uh, a couple drops, well, more than a couple drops. It's probably about a teaspoon or a tablespoon of alcohol. And you mix it together, and depending on what size of hand sanitizer you want, I'm making three ounce uh, bottles. Tina, I'm shipping yours out uh, tomorrow. So if you want a uh, three ounce bottle of hand sanitizer, let me know. I'm doing 250 per bottle or two for five or however you want to do it, but they're 250 or I'll cut you a deal if you get more than that. So um, I'm making a few of these for a few people. If anybody else out there wants hand sanitizer, let me know. Or what you can do is buy your own and you can use the aloe gel and the tea tree oil with alcohol and make your own for whatever size you want. And then you have some leftover for your face, for your hands, for your body. Um, and then you can use it other ways too. So this is, whoops, this is the clear aloe gel and then the tea tree oil from our tea tree line. Again, the tea tree will help um, with acne as well. And again, if you have mixed skin, uh, the aloe is great for that too. So, dropping everything tonight. So if you're here and you have questions as I go over this stuff, just let me know. If you're interested in anything, please comment and I'll send you the details. Um, but again, everything is natural, plant-based, vegan, and uh, almost all of our products are gluten-free as well. So that's why I absolutely love this stuff. By the way, I get to buy all kinds of these products at half off. I don't pay full price for this. So if you are somebody that wants half off, let me know, I'll get you the hookup. And that way you don't have to continue to pay full price for things, but I will tell you even full price is like Walmart, um, Walmart or Target pricing. It's not super expensive. And they're all absolutely 100% natural products. So that's what I love about it. Also in the tea tree line that I use is our tea tree mint um, toothpaste. Yes, we have that stuff. We have personal care items as well. Um, there's a couple other things in the tea tree line that are great as well, but I personally use the oil and I use the, uh, toothpaste and I didn't even know this was going to do this, but I've been trying 10 million different types of toothpaste to get my teeth whiter because I drink a lot of tea and coffee. So that being said, I didn't plan on the tea tree uh, making my teeth whiter, but it actually did. <laughs> and it made them a lot, the enamel a lot smoother, tastes great. Um, you gotta get, if you're not used to the tea tree oil smell or taste, uh, you will have to get past that a little bit, but once you're past it, like, and it's not super strong, it's just a different taste than your normal, uh, toothpaste, but it does have mint in it as well. So if you get the toothpaste, uh, expect your teeth to get a little bit whiter as well, which is awesome. So if you want any tea tree uh, hand sanitizer or if you want toothpaste too, let me know. I'll give you the hookup. And then the last um, one that I like to talk about too is our charcoal line. I've only bought one thing from our charcoal line, but there are a couple other things that are really cool there as well. So let me find that real quick. And... We do have a couple other things in the skincare line that I'd like to talk about that I haven't purchased yet myself, but I've seen amazing results on. Um, so this is our charcoal line. I personally just bought the small one, but there's a larger bottle um, that you can buy. So this one, I do get blackheads and I do get a little bit of breakouts um, in my T-zone and on my cheeks, sometimes my chin. So I bought a small thing of the charcoal mask 
and if you guys are familiar with that most people are but um, the this helps with pulling out blackheads and pore detoxifying again I wouldn't use this every day I would do it like twice a week maybe maybe once a week depending on how bad your blackheads are um, but this pulls up all the gunk up out of there especially if you wear makeup every day or if you constantly are putting stuff on your skin this is a great detoxifier uh, so, you know, you can get the small one. This is the small version, um, but there's a larger version of the charcoal mask. And then they also have a serum, uh, charcoal serum in the dropper bottle. There's a pore tonic um, minimizer. And then they also have a cleansing gel too. So all of our skincare lines have each step for everyday steps of uh, skincare. So most of them will have a serum, a gel, a wash, um, some kind of, obviously the charcoal will have the mask in it. And then um, some of them do have tonic. So um, the charcoal line has tonic and I believe the rose water, which I haven't tried yet either, which I'm super excited to try. But the aloe also has a scrub, which I use. So this, I think I demoed this last week when I had sunburn, but this is also an amazing um, thing to do a couple times a week. This has the beads in it. So if you've ever used a microdermabrasion product, this has the small beads in it to get your dead skin cells off, especially if you're peeling or you have dry skin. This aloe scrub is gonna be for you. Um, it smells amazing. This is organic aloe vera. It's 50% and then it also has the grape seed um, oil in it too. Um, so this can be applied to the face and the neck area once you're uh, scrubbing. Do it for a couple minutes, let it sit, and then wash it back off. Again, I would only do this probably two to three times a week depending on how bad your, your dry skin is or if you have uh, sun damage and you're peeling. This is a great thing to use. It gets all the, the dead skin off and gets your face back to normal. Um, and then if you end up getting drier or oil, more oily, then you can kind of offset it with one of the other line products. But most people, I will say, get a one or two things from each line because we all have different um, skin. We all have different things that are that we're battling with our skin. Um, like I said, I've always been more of, tend to be like a mixed skin or a dry skin. Uh, I know there are a lot of people out there that do have oily skin, so the tea tree line is gonna be the best option for you. Um, but if you have mixed to dry skin, uh, calendula and aloe, aloe's good for everybody, like I always say. Aloe's good for anything and everyone. Um, and if you ever see any products that are healthcare products too that have aloe in them that you can ingest, take them because aloe, the aloe plant is amazing. It heals so many different things. So I wanted to go over those few things with you tonight. Um, we also do have the Rose Care line and we do have the Age Reversus line. So um, I personally haven't purchased anything from that line yet, which I'm about to because um, myself and my mom are trying to take care of the under eye issue and some crow's feet for her and there are a couple other things that um, are for aging. Uh, also, if you guys didn't know this and if you're in the younger age group that I'm in or if you're older and you didn't start an early skincare line, um, you know, between the ages of 28 and 30 is when you're recommended to start your uh, pre-aging or aging skincare line. So. If you didn't know that, there's a little tip. Um, but if, you, if you're older and you haven't really had a skincare regimen, uh, it's never too late to start because you will see results regardless. So um, there's that. And then make sure I didn't miss any other lines that I may not have had. Um, there are, by the way, there are a couple of featured products for the spring catalog. And this is the spring catalog, by the way. So if you guys haven't gotten the spring catalog, message me and I will be happy to mail one to you for free. If you want samples of anything, let me know. I will send you something that I already have or I can order. Um, but I do have some of these left. So if you want a spring uh, line or a spring magazine 
to look, catalog you can look through, uh, let me know and I'll be happy to send one. Um, oh, yay. Yes. Uh, speaking of CC cream, I'll get to that in just a minute, but there's some featured small travel size products that we're doing right now. And this specific catalog goes through the end of June. So, and then we do quarterly catalogs. So everything kind of changes up a little bit uh, every three months. So, or every four months. So this goes to the end of June, but these are some travel um, kits that you can get right now. There's the toothpaste right there, the rose care um, cream, the face cream, and then the calendula oil hand cream is on sale right now. And then, um, I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but we do have some massage gels and some balsams that they also have in travel kit size right now. So if you haven't heard or tried of tried any of these yet, this is uh, a good way to try them because they're all uh, travel size and you can just try them out and then you don't have to get the full size product. And if you like them, then you can eventually get the full size. But I love travel size stuff. I have tons of travel size um, everything in my bathroom because normally I am on the road and we do a lot of vacationing and a lot of traveling with the band. So, um, you know, I like to have travel size stuff. So this is great. Um, you can also get this kit all together or you can purchase them separately. It's up to you. Uh, let me make sure again. Oh, and yes, we do have soaps on sale too. Look at these. So I love soaps too, by the way. All of our skincare lines have a soap. Uh, a bar soap is what I'm talking about. And then uh, there are a couple extra ones. So there's a baby soap. So for those of my moms out there that are looking for a safe baby soap, we do have that. And then um, we have a new halmum, which is a Hawaiian uh, traditional soap. And then we have a pearl powder soap. Um, we have our calendula soap, our tea tree soap, and our pure rose soap. And I would actually love to have the pure rose soap in my bathroom. So I think I'm going to order one of those for myself. But these are all of our uh, small travel size soaps that are on uh, the, in the catalog right now too. So super affordable. Again, if you want 50% off everything for life, let me know and I'll get you hooked up. Um, do you? I was wondering about that, Tina. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Um, yeah, so they do have the travel size on sale right now and, uh, they have it through June and they'll probably do it through the end of summer, I would assume. Um, but those are some of the new things that they've featured in our catalog. Also, um, there was a couple other things that I wanted to show you guys before I get off of here. Um, we do have, which again, I haven't tried these personally yet, but I've seen some really good results. Uh, there is um, a keratin hair care line. Okay, so keratin is really good for growing hair. Um, we do have the lash and um, eyebrow serum too that helps the facial hair grow. So if you want to grow your lashes out or you need a little bit more hair to define the eyebrow, you can get the lash serum uh, and it works both ways. But we do have a couple different hair and shampoo and conditioner lines. So we have the keratin line and then we do have um, the garlic uh, shampoo line, which sounds really weird to have garlic in your shampoo. But um, there are a couple different things on, under the garlic and sapho hair, hair care line. So there's the shampoo, we have the garlic oil. So this right here, if you have a dry scalp, which I'm actually gonna get some of this for myself because my hair, um, my skin again is super dry and that in includes your scalp skin. And I flake and I've never really had that issue until recently. So I need to find something like this to make my scalp a little bit less dry. Um, so that's what this garlic oil is gonna do for your hair. Um, also, it's not gonna make your scalp really oily. It's just gonna help if you just put just enough on there um, and don't overkill it, it's gonna help soothe your scalp skin as well. So there's that. Um, we do have a hair mask in the garlic shampoo line. And then we also have, um, we, we have it in a bottle and then we have it in the tub as well. So that's that. And then we have a black seed oil hair care line that is really cool too. And I've been kind of reading up on that as well. And this is all, all the information is in the catalog, but if you want specific ingredients, I can send that to you as well. Um, 
ba, ba, ba. Yep, so this cleans and nourishes the scalp and the hair care um, scalp line as well. So these are just two different things that we have. They have the black seed oil for your scalp as well. So between the garlic and the black seed oil, you're going to be good to go if you have a dry um, scalp. And then for my sleepy time people, and I love lavender. If anybody knows me well enough, they know that I absolutely love lavender. I use it for a lot of different things. Um, it's very calming and soothing, so I usually uh, will put an essential oil lavender in my uh, beside my bed as I'm going to sleep or use it topically to help me fall asleep. But this one is a beautiful lavender dream mist. And what you do with this is you spray it on your pillow before you're getting ready to go to bed and you're um, smelling that essential oil as you're falling asleep and it helps you fall asleep, asleep quicker. Um, I love lavender. It's one of my favorites. I have lavender everything in my bathroom. So when I take a hot bath, I have lavender in my bath. I have lavender in my candles. It's amazing. So there's that. And then we have a foot care series. That's kind of skincare, I guess. So this is a foot care series. We have peeling salt, um, hand and foot sea salt, and then we have um, an intensive foot cream. So, and then we have an odor control spray for your shoes. So if, for those of you that are super active um, and wear tennis shoes or closed shoes all the time, we do have an odor control spray for that. But I could definitely use some of this peeling salt because I'm getting ready to, you know, we're getting ready to get in the pool and, um, be outside with sandals and all that stuff and my feet are kind of rough right now. So um, Peeling salt is great for that To get those heels nice and smooth All that good stuff. So these are just some little things I wanted to share with you uh, as far as our skincare line goes um, We do have a men's care line <sighs> Lots of goodies in the men's care line. We didn't forget about the guys. My boyfriend actually loves this um, shampoo and body face wash, uh, three in one wash. He uses it a lot, I'm about to order him some more. And it's actually helped him with his dry skin and flaky skin as well. So, and it smells amazing. It smells like a, a nice light cologne. Um, and it's really good for the skin. So uh, that's a three in one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. For the guys, we do have a, a mustache and beard oil. We have an eye cream for the guys. Um, we have a two-in-one soothing uh, aftershave balm, and then we have a shaving gel for those guys that do all that. So there's that. And then, let me get back to my, where I was going with this. And then this is a brand new skin um, self-care line that I'm about to order myself too. I just put a huge order in by the way. I'm gonna, I can't wait to show you guys what I got in that. So I'm gonna be checking on my shipment cause I got some goodies. But Mother's Day is coming up and I'm gonna share that with you on my next live because I got some of the May specials that will be available in May for Mother's Day. So this is our amazing uh, brown sugar line. It has a shower gel, a body lotion, a brown sugar scrub, which I love scrubs, y'all. Get that dead skin off. And then uh, we have a hand cream. So for my brown sugar scent lovers, this is a whole skincare um, body care line that they just came out with this uh, quarter. And again, not super expensive Walmart to Target pricing on that. Uh, that's pretty much it in the skincare and body care lines. We do have some perfumes. Again, haven't tried those yet. We do have nail polish, y'all. So I'm just kind of skimming through the catalog here. And again, if you guys want a, a copy of this, I'll be happy to send it to you in the mail. So I think that's pretty much it. We have makeup remover, obviously. Um, we have um, some intimate care, and then we have some time lock spray for your makeup. So um, but I just wanted to go over real quick the skincare options. I've been using the Be Fit line 
a lot lately because it's not full makeup it's just kind of something to have on this has moisturizer in it as well so basically it's a tinted moisturizer like the CC cream but this has um, the benefits of moisturizer in it so uh, most of our if not all of our uh, foundations do have mineral and skincare in them which is great so Yes, I will definitely send you one, Tina, um, and I'll be shipping that out in the morning. So share this with somebody. Let me know if you have questions, but uh, I am absolutely loving all these products. And again, I have I have been able to afford them because A, I get 50% off of already affordable prices anyway, and B, I've had the chance to use them all lately. So it's great. It's good stuff. Um, I ordered a couple different... Uh, things for to show you guys for Mother's Day so there is an actual kit and I'm gonna pop on the website real quick so I don't give you the wrong information but um, also you can head over to the website if you'd like um, there is a lavish beauty Mother's Day box and I'm gonna show I'm gonna tell you what's in it right now but I'm gonna show it to you because I ordered one um, in my next order and it has lots of goodies in it y'all it's a great Mother's Day present. It comes in a beautiful gift box. Um, it's super cute. And that's what I love about their collection boxes is that they're already decorated. You don't have to wrap them. You can just put a little, you know, card on it and say, here you go. Enjoy. Um, okay, so this is what the Lavish Beauty set has in it. And I will go over this again when I actually get it in the mail and show it to you guys. But um, it is $99. It's a $100 gift set but you can get it for $50 if you uh, sign up as an influencer. You don't have to sell anything. You can basically keep what they call kidnapping. And if you decide that you wanna sell at some point, you can, um, but you don't have to. So to get the 50% off, you would just have to sign up as an influencer versus a customer, and then you get to pay half the price. So um, it comes with a Makeup Express eye pencil in dark blue. It comes with a star look black and full lash mascara. It comes with a true color lipstick in plum sunrise, which that's a gorgeous color. I love that color. Um, it comes with a tender blush um, in sugar pink. It comes with a makeup lip liner, number 221, obviously probably to match your um, lipstick. And then it comes with a creamy eyeshadow in pink glow, love. And then it comes with an extra last eye pencil and a sparkle lip gloss, which I ordered the kit of sparkle lip glosses and I'll be sharing those with you as well. I got all four colors. You can order the box um, or them by themselves separately. It's totally up to you guys. And then um, the CC cream in light to medium. So that's a full face. That's a $100 kit, a full face of makeup. Um, and then again, you can get it for $50 off if you sign up as an influencer. And that's for lifetime. You get 50% off all the time on anything. So if you're looking for something for mom or yourself for Mother's Day, get with me. That is a beautiful gift set. I posted it on the page if you want to see the box and what it looks like. Um, it's so cute. I love it. So check it out guys. I will be back on here when I get my order and shipment in, but I wanted to share with you some skincare line that I've been using. If you want to order sanitizer, let me know. I will just send you an invoice. Just send me your email and your mailing address. I'm doing, um, two fifty for three ounce bottles or two for five. Um, so just let me know. And then plus, uh, shipping. So, but I am making those for whoever wants them or needs them. So just let me know if you want to order and um, comment or just send me a message and I will send you an invoice and we'll be good to go. So I think that's about it. Love you guys. Thanks for joining me tonight and I will see you on the next live. Have a good night. Bye-bye.